All right, what's up? So you've probably all seen your favorite athletes wearing these crazy inflatable boots in their Instagram pictures or behind the scenes videos, helping them recover. And you might be wondering like, what are those and what's the point? But today I have a review of the Speedhound compression recovery boots. And in this video, we're gonna find out if they actually work. So before I actually open this up and start reviewing this specific unit from Speedhound, I wanna kind of explain how recovery boots work, what their purpose is, and give you a little bit of like background on my experience with them. So the purpose of a recovery boot system is to remove lactic acid from the legs by squeezing and sending it back to the core where it can be metabolized. And there, then it also increases circulation, it decreases stiffness in the legs, and therefore increasing mobility. So that all sounds great, right? Yeah, of course it does. I've used compression socks and sleeves before. Uh, I've used bands uh, before. I've never actually used a compression system exactly like this though, until Speedhound sent this out to me. Uh, so that leads me into my disclosure for this video. This unit was provided by Speedhound so that I could review it, but they did not pay me any money and they're not getting to watch this video before you are. So all these opinions are my own. So let's open this one up. And as I do, I'll kind of explain a little bit about this unit and some general things about compression boots as well. Uh, first of all, it comes with this pretty nice uh, soft shell case. Unzipping it. First off, we have the hoses that are pretty much always connected to the legs of the unit, which is this part right here, which is kind of like what everyone sees when you see someone post on Instagram or on YouTube about it. it. Comes with two boots, full length zipper that goes the full length of the boot. And then I'll explain a little bit more about this here in just a second. Also in here, we have the control unit uh, that the boots plug into. And this is what controls like what type of uh, compression is going to each part of the boots. So the basic thought process behind this is that it uh, delivers dynamic air pressure that massages your legs, can flush your legs after an intense workout or race so that you can be fresher and more ready to take on tomorrow as they say. The Speedhound units have a pretty wide range of compression settings and they also have on off toggles for each different part of your leg. They've got two different modes, flush and massage and a timer that goes from 10 to 30 minutes in increments of 10 minutes. The boots are made of pretty high quality material. They have a pretty wide range of sizes because you really want the right size for your height. You don't want the boots to be too short or too long. That's not gonna work as well. And they also have an expansion piece of material that you can zip in here in case your leg has a little bit more volume than what fits into the boots as they come. They also come with a two year warranty Warranty, which is pretty awesome for a product like this uh, that you're paying this much money for, you want it to be able to last. And if something goes wrong, you want them to replace it. So that's good. So Speedhound sent this unit out to me about two weeks before Cruel Jewel and I've used it every night leading up to the race. And then pretty much every night for about a week or two after as well. Since then, uh, I've used it typically after kind of like hard workouts or longer sessions. And then I cycle between the modes A and B, which is the flush and massage modes. And I only really turned off regions of the boot in order to test. I think that really could be useful though if you had an injury to say your knee or something and you didn't want it uh, compressing your knee, you only wanted it to compress maybe your feet and ankle and lower leg. For my first impressions of this, it was actually really easy to get up and running. Uh, there was like, it's dead simple. There's two modes. There's only a couple buttons on here, really. Like you just pretty much stick your leg in, you turn it on, you select your mode, and then you kind of find the right pressure that's right for you. I did kind of play around with that and found a pressure setting that I felt most uh, comfortable with that was like, it was compressing enough that I knew it was doing something, but you can get these to compress a lot to the point where it was like, pretty uncomfortable for me. As far as sizing goes, for me, they just asked for my inseam uh, and my upper leg circumference. And once I sent them those sizes, they sent me these boots and they fit perfectly. For comfort, uh, the material on the inside of these is pretty nice. It's pretty much the same thing as on the outside. It's kind of like this shiny, slick material. And these air tubes are long enough that 
you can kind of set this unit like right next to you and it's long enough if you have like a side table next to your couch or something like that. But if you wanted it to be maybe on the floor or something and you were like maybe a little bit farther away, like that could be one thing that could be improved, maybe a little bit longer tubes. But there's just this one connector right here and the word up on here and you just clip it in. And once your legs are in there and you're feeling good, you got your Netflix going, you can start it up. So let's talk about performance and best use and how I felt that this test went for me. Uh, first off, I think that this is definitely like for athletes, but it can also be used for anyone that suffers from maybe like chronic inflammation. It's gonna help flush the legs out. It's gonna help massage. Does it do what it's supposed to do? I think yes. Uh, I can say for a fact that my legs felt better and I believe they recovered faster when I used this daily. I mean, it feels amazing when you're using it. Uh, the massage part is great, and of course, that isn't exactly measurable, but I do feel like I was able to bounce back and have better back-to-back -back runs when recovering at night with these Speedhound boots. I also think that this is going to last quite a while. There was no air leakage anywhere from any of the hoses. Uh, while it does feel like a soft rubber, I feel like if you take care of it, you're not gonna get any holes in it. The only thing that did kind of concern me was this Y joint right here. Uh, it's made out of plastic, and I just was always like worried that I was gonna accidentally like sit on it and snap it. That being said, it's probably pretty cheap if you had to replace it, or if it was within the two year warranty, Speedhound might do that for you anyway. I've used this off and on for the last two months. First month pretty heavily, leading up to the Cruel Jewel, and then right after. And then over the last month, not as much, but I have been using it after my hard workouts, and especially a couple couple times after pacing at Western States, uh, but I can see myself using this a lot as I move forward into my Indiana Trail 100 training as that starts getting uh, tougher and tougher. The life of the product, I don't really have any concerns because I take pretty good care of my stuff, but I will say that it is, like most of it's made of plastic. The boots themselves, no worries, no concerns there. I think it's probably the same material that Normatec uses and some of the bigger companies that are a little bit more expensive. I think it looks great too. Like I'm glad they didn't go with some crazy color or something. Uh, it's, you know, it's just professional. Like people know what these are when you're wearing them, especially like if you're sitting at a chair after a race or something like that. The only thing that I do maybe wish that this control unit, a little bit better feedback, like maybe a screen or something, kind of like show you a little bit more of what's going on. As it is right now, the timer is the pretty weak part of this because it just goes 30, 20, 10. And so you really, when you're, I mean, 10 minutes is kind of a long time. And so you're just kind of like staring at like, is it 20 or is it 11 minutes? I don't really know. And then as soon as it hits 10, it goes down to the 10. So that's the one like kind of weak part of this display, but it's also cheaper than all the other units. Storage and travel is really easy with this case. As far as like cost of upkeep, there's no continual charges that you're not gonna have to keep replacing or buying air cartridges or anything like that. It's just once you buy this, it just continues to work. So I ask myself, do I want to use this? The answer is yes. Like every time I use this, I feel like I'm helping myself become a better athlete and I also feel great. But all right, what's the deal with the Speedhound boots? Are there any drawbacks? Yeah, I think so. Unfortunately, there's a few things that you need to know. Uh, first up, there's a few minutes of setup time and though this isn't a deal breaker, I think they're all like that. So if you're buying one of these, I don't think it's gonna be, the Speedhound is not any different than any of the others. The other drawback with this unit specifically, this is not quiet by any means. <laughs> so I'm gonna turn it on and first I'll walk you through kind of this touch pad up here, kind of show you what's going on with it. And then I'll actually turn it on so you can hear it. You see your modes here, A, B, you can cycle through them. A is the flush, B is the massage. You've got your timer. Uh, I always put it on 30 minutes just because I felt like if I'm gonna sit here, like I'll get a massage for 30 minutes, that's fine. Uh, and then you also have your pressure. You can go up all the way up to 200, all the way down to 20. I always left it right around 100 or 120. And then your zones over here, you can turn off whatever zones you want. So like I said, if you have a knee injury or something, you just want maybe your lower leg and your foot, uh, you can just do zones one and two, vice versa, you can turn them on or off. So this is plugged in, it's ready to go. Pretend that my legs are in here and I'm gonna turn this on. The noise is all coming from this unit as well. So here we go, we're filling up. We've got region one, two, three, and now the fourth one is filling up. We are actually compressing now zone one and now zone two is filling up. This is the massage mode where it fills up one at a time and then the flush mode is where it fills them all up at the same time and flushes your legs. So that's it, as far as the noise goes. I'm gonna turn this off and deflate these 
uh, because they're falling off the table. So now let's talk about some differences between the Speedhound unit and some other big brands like Normatec or Rapid Reboot, Game Recovery. There's a couple other systems that are out there. Uh, the Speedhound unit, it has four regions. So you've got your foot, your lower leg, kind of like lower upper leg, and then your upper leg. Uh, some of the others have five regions, uh, which is just something to think about because for me, actually my knee kind of hit right here in this kind of lower upper leg region. And so there were some times where it was compressing pretty hard on my knee and it got a little uncomfortable. So if you had five regions, you might be able to kind of customize it a little bit better. But that said, with the Speedhound unit, you cannot customize certain regions to be more or less compressed than other regions. You can only turn them on or off all regions are compressed equally. Other brands, you can customize the lower part of your leg to be a lot more compressed than the upper part of your leg. So that's just something to know. Time limit on here only goes up to 30 minutes. Uh, not a big issue, but others go up to 60. The control unit is also pretty basic, as I've mentioned. Others have like a digital screen, touch screen, all that sort of stuff. But all that said, does it accomplish the task it sets out to do? And I would say yes. I think if you take the time to set it up and you make that time investment, you're okay with the noise, uh, it's going to be a great purchase for you. Uh, your legs are gonna thank you. You'll recover faster and you'll be ready for the next day. But the price, is it worth it? Well, that's a tough one uh, because unlike shoes or other essential gear, this is really a luxury item. But if you're really serious about your recovery and you're already looking into getting a recovery boot system, this one is priced really well compared to the competition, in my opinion. Things you're missing out on from a more expensive brand, they're not that big of a deal, it's fine. You're still getting the compression, you're still getting the recovery, you're still getting the same basic thing from a unit like this. I don't think it would be worth it to me to pay a couple hundred extra dollars for a different brand to have one more region and maybe some more customizable settings, but I also haven't tried another brand, so I can't tell you exactly. Right now, this system is priced at $745 compared to Normatec, $900, Rapid Reboot, $1,000. Those are the ones I could find online. For me personally, if I was really serious about my performance, if I was trying to run a PR, maybe qualify for Boston, or if I was at the top of my age group competing in races, like actually competing, um, this would probably be something I would invest in because I think recovery is a really, really big part of being at the top of your game like that. Also, if I had chronic inflammation or pain that was lessened by massage, I would definitely consider getting something like this. I think that would be a really good investment as well. For most people, I think that this is probably not a necessity. I think there's other things that you can do that are cheaper, like foam rolling, like extra rest, icing, compression socks and sleeves, elevating. Uh, all this can bring similar results, though definitely not as quickly or easily. So what's my reaction? What do I think about compression recovery boots in general? And what do I think about the Speedhound unit specifically? I think the purpose that a compression boot system sets out to achieve, uh, I think the Speedhound unit does actually achieve that. The massage part is amazing. The recovery part, I saw a benefit there. So I think in general, yes, they do work. And I do think that the Speedhound delivers. So that's my take on the Speedhound recovery compression boot system. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Did I miss anything? Have you ever used a recovery boot system like this? Again, I wanna thank Speedhound for sending this unit out. All right, that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching to the end. I will see you again soon. Bye.